This scene was assembled entirely from assets out of my free sci-fi asset pack and free characters from Mixamo.com. You can download the sci-fi asset pack for free on my website right now at the link in the description. Some of the models are a bit old because I've been working on this for several years. However, all the materials are procedurally generated and most of them have been designed to work well with EV and cycles, but not all of them. So here's my disclaimer. Everything contained here is provided as is. Obviously, many of these assets are designed to fit within the cyberpunk genre, but some of them are inspired by the Alien universe as well. Let me show you how to download the project file and give you a breakdown of what's included and how to use all the pieces. The link in the description will bring you to my Blender Assets page. Go into the Project Files category and click on it to download. Here the project file is opened up in Blender. In the Outliner, you can see several categories. Floors, walls, doorways, doors, objects, lights, and ceiling. To see what's contained in each category, check the box next to the name in the Outliner. Here in the Floor category, there are some different floor tiles and a couple of large floor tiles. For this demonstration, I'll be making an alien-inspired hallway. Select the floor you want to use, Duplicate it and move it to the new collection by pressing M and selecting New Collection. I already have a scene collection, so I'm just moving it there. You can then close the floor collection to view just the floor tile in your new scene. Every floor tile has two array modifiers on it to make it easy to tile it out to fit your scene. Now let's take a look at the Walls category. Here you can find a variety of wall tiles and other wall-related objects. I'm going to choose two different tiles, and just like the floor, I'll duplicate them and move them to the scene. I'll then position them, tile them out, give them a mirror modifier like this, then add an empty and set the mirror target to that empty. Then I can position the empty in the middle of the hallway to adjust the walls. To break up the monotony of the hall, let's head over to the Doorways category and choose a doorway that fits the aesthetic of the hall. Then copy it to the scene. Here I'm also grabbing a door from the Door category and adding that as well. Now I'm adding an Array modifier and adjusting the scale of the doorway to fit the walls. After filling the holes in the walls and ceiling with additional wall and ceiling tiles, Fog can be added easily by creating a box that covers the hallway and giving it the fog material. After adding a few lights to the scene, I'm heading to the Objects category to grab a few details to add to the scene. With a little creativity, you can make a great looking scene in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy these free assets. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing.